Well, you heard it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in the main event of Call of Stars 12. Ben Hawkins defending his Call of Stars world title against myself, Kevin Cross, and Matt Black. Now, this would be the point in time where I would go over this match and talk about how I'm going to decimate all three of these individuals. But you know what? I've, I've got to I've gotta tell the truth. Because that's in my name. Accurate. i got to spit the accurate facts here. I had two different opportunities. One for a shot at the title and for the title itself. And both times... It seems to me that I just can't grasp any sort of intelligence whatsoever because I get screwed somehow. Whether it be because of Kevin Cross or whether it be because of Matt Black, I just can't seem to grasp the world championship. And now I'm expected to participate in a fatal four-way. See, normally I'd come on here and I'd talk about how I'm going to win the belt and Karina this and, and my COH history that and how I fuck with people. But see, that's the thing. I could fuck with all three individuals simultaneously, but at this rate, I'm starting to wonder was it meant to be? This ain't the usual promo where somebody goes out and gloats about how they're going to win the world title or how they're going to win the match. No, 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 no. We're not, we're not going to play Wrestling Trope 101. See, I've been doing a lot of thinking. Last year, right before the Call of Stars Rumble, I told a story that I basically held within me for years and years and years. It was not a story that I particularly even remembered or put into my brain until my lead-up problems with Kevin Cross. I had no intentions of ever indulging that story to you people. Because what would it have mattered? I had a girlfriend that died. And now every time she comes into my brain and is talking to me like how she was when she was alive. And it drives me fucking nuts. I wasn't telling that story to be a pity party. Because I understand. I understand completely. M. Accuracy is not somebody that you feel pity for. The shit that M. Accuracy has done would be inexcusable. Would be unforgivable. So I wasn't expecting... The roar of the crowd to be on my side. All that being sufficed, when I went into the Call of Stars World Rumble, I heard the roar of the crowd. I heard the people cheering my name. They were hoping that I would win. They didn't want this pitiful piece of shit Matt Black to win. Okay? We understand that Matt Black is a failure at life and failure at spelling. But the fact that the fans were rooting for me, and I still ended up short... But that's okay, because in my mind, it wasn't over yet. Because that Call of Stars title was going to be mine at some point. And my plans started coming into fruition. I said to myself, wait a minute. It seems like in the world of wrestling, we could just challenge for world titles. We could challenge for any title that we want, and the boss isn't going to say anything. So I did my best. I went up to Ben Hopkins, offered him the challenge. Ben Hopkins gave me the challenge. Now... That match at AWF Revolutionary War wasn't his fault. Wasn't his fault. But, it's clear as day that with all the hype that surrounds Ben Hopkins, he clearly, clearly, still isn't a match for the fun artist himself. Ben Hopkins can grab a microphone and speak his mind and spew out words and people will listen. That is the admirable thing about Ben Hopkins. He has made a name for himself in a short amount of time, but he still cannot get the job done against M-Accuracy. 
Now, if this was just me and Ben Hopkins, if I had won the Rumble and it was just me and Ben Hopkins, then everything would be all well and good. I would have gone into the ring at Call Stars 12. We would have settled it out. But instead, I have two other Thing 1 and Thing 2 cronies coming around and coming across and Matt Black interfering. Now, Matt Black won the Call All Stars Rumble, so he is guaranteed a shot. Nothing I could do about that. Kevin Cross, he's just some shit stain that the Call All Stars committee decided to give an opportunity to. And that's great because ever since I saw Kevin Cross, I said he should have been one of us. He should have been one of the people that should be considered the elite in CAW. And he was failing at that. And now he's starting to realize it. But he's not picking himself up by the bootstraps. He's just interfering in my case because he knows that as soon as our problems resolve, he may end up in obscurity. So where am I going with this? I understand I'm in the fatal four-way. I'm up against Ben Hopkins, Matt Black, Kevin Cross. And normally, someone like myself should be confident that I could take care of all three of these individuals. At least I know where we stand. But here's the thing. I started contemplating. And I understand the fans feel for me. Not that I asked for it, but I understand the fans feel for me. I'm trying to win the title over a dead girlfriend that passed away many years ago. That I never was able to completely satisfy in as far as accomplishments here in this business. And the biggest accomplishment being that CAS world title. <sighs> I understand people want me to put that note in the final chapter of this story. But here's the truth. The truth is, is that M accuracy is a deplorable, un- likable human being and that's just the way it is there is a thing called karma I do believe that karma does exist it comes to bite you in the ass and it's bitten me in the ass more times than I can even count and I think that karma is taking a look at my rap sheet of all the bad things that I've done trust me the things that you've seen me do in COH and the things I'm doing in ECW, the things that I just came to do in AWF, they're looking at that rap sheet and going, a CAS world title? Karma's biting me in the ass because of all the things that I've done. And I deserve it. And the sad fact is this. I watched... Terminator 2 just recently and there's a scene that builds and builds and builds towards the end of the movie the Terminator cannot understand how humans cry how they can feel this emotion and at the end of the movie while the Terminator starts to realize why humans cry he still does not have it within him to cry himself. I could end this promo in tears and capture the whole world by storm. Here's the sad fact. I am not built to cry. I'm only built to deceive. So I cannot end this promo on a pity party. I can only end this promo on the fact that maybe, just maybe, it is an inaccuracy time. It may never be his time. And I can't sit here and cry and moan and hope that the fans will come to raise me up and we can fight Ben Hopkins, Kevin Cross, and Matt Black all together. But maybe it just wasn't meant to be. You got the Fatal 4 way coming up, I can just go ahead and mindfuck them all while they battle for the title, but maybe, maybe. M accuracy winning the title? It's just not in the playing cards.